The following guide contains information covered in previous videos. If this is your first time watching one of these, I highly suggest you watch one, two, or all of the videos listed on your screen. Enjoy! Hey guys, what's up? This is Tails Bender here again for another video and welcome to another Mario Kart 7 track in-depth guide and analysis. Today, Waluigi Pinball. Making its debut on Mario Kart DS for the Nintendo DS, Waluigi Pinball is the fourth and final track of the Banana Cup. If you like the visuals on previous tracks, then get ready to get your mind blown, since we have already seen stuff like this on two tracks at most so far. This is an incredibly fun concept that comes back for more action to this game, so let's dive to this track to know the ins and outs. Now we will be taking a look at the fastest base route and the fastest way to earn 10 coins. I say base because we need to learn what the fastest way is to complete the lap without having a card assigned for a specific track. When racing against a computer or real players, you will not be able to switch your card combination before knowing what track you are going to dominate. For this and all of the fastest base route examples, I will be using the default card build. Standard frame, standard wheels, and a super glider. We will also focus on the drifts that are going to help you get a much better time. Alright, on with the footage. The fun on this track starts right away when you encounter a colorful tunnel. Press R on top of the glider pad right after your initial boost. Once you land, stick to the left rail as much as you can to go faster and press R on top of the ramp while grabbing one coin. Perform two more drifts in the following area and grab two more coins before another drift to the left. Press R on top of the upcoming boost pad, grabbing one more coin and drifting to your right as soon as you land. Position yourself like this while drifting to your right in order to grab a whopping 5 coins, followed by a boost pad and 2 more drifts. You will enter the pinball area of the track. On this first lap, just go for a straight line, obtaining your final coin near the spinning objects and get past the bumpers to reach 2 more drift locations and the finish line. With your 10 coins in hand, on laps 2 and 3, make sure to go through the pinball area like so in order to avoid the giant balls. Alright, so with this we are done covering the most important part of the video. However, just remember that there is always more information to help you out even further. Number 1. Item Boxes This is not as crucial to know, but it is really important to know their location if you are out of lines of defense. The item boxes in one with the pinball are located here. Number 2. Speed Bumps These are irregularities on the ground that will allow you to get a speed boost if you press R while on top of them. Just like some of the previous tracks, other than the ramps you will find throughout this place, there is nothing you can use as a speed bump. So just focus on avoiding the obstacles instead. Number 3. Shrooms and Shortcuts This track features a very underrated mushroom spot, the pinball area itself. Since this place is actually at an angle, you will go faster by default, so it is a great place to use a mushroom for even more speed than what you are already getting. Finally, these are not really alternate routes, but you can go for these paths if you feel it is convenient. Number 4. Hazards We will address the elephant in the room later. But for now, even though it looks like there are no bottomless pits here, you can actually fall to your doom if you perform a jump on the wrong fashion. You should also avoid to hit the brakes on the colorful tunnel since it will be a huge speed penalty. Last but not least, avoid the giant balls of death at all cost. And also, make sure that you stay away from the bumpers. Alright, so with this information we are ready to set the high score for ass kicking on this amazing track. If you enjoyed this video and was useful in any way, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your Mario Kart loving friends, and add it to your list of favorites if you would like to watch it again. The song in the background belongs to Approaching Nirvana. If you liked it, make sure to check out the description below so you can find it. So with that, you guys have a great day, take care of yourselves, and if you decide to watch any other Mario Kart 7 video, I will see you then.